Today, the Department of Health is reporting 608 new cases and for the second day in a row, no new deaths. Now, nationally, more than 20% of the population has now been fully vaccinated. That's 1.4 million people. 32.7% of Arizonans have received at least one vaccine. A new COVID-19 vaccine site has opened up in the East Valley as the state announced they've delivered more than 1 million shots at state-run sites. The location near Power Road and the Loop 202 Santan Freeway is an indoor site that people can still drive through to get their COVID-19 shots. Team 12's Colleen Sakura is live at the site in Southeast Mesa that's opening up right now. Hi, Colleen. Yeah, hey, Tran, they're just starting to administer the first shots of the vaccine at this indoor drive through vaccination site. Now, vaccine sites are considered a medical facility, so that's why we're outside. But I do want to show you what it looks like inside. It's very similar to what we see at the state's outdoor vaccination sites. But this indoor site is going to allow the state to deliver and distribute these vaccines out to the public through the summer months. Now, this site at Dexcom, just north of Phoenix Mesa Gateway Airport, is replacing the site that was at Chandler Gilbert Community College. Dr. Kara Chris, director of the state health department, was on hand to open the site as they announced they've delivered more than a million vaccines at state run sites. So moving indoors allows us to protect our staff, our volunteers and our patients. Um, you know, it gets hot out here in Arizona, so we want to make sure that the people are obviously the most important thing and we want to make sure that they are safe. Um, what we were identifying is that the temperatures were also playing a role in um, the technology some of the technology issues so that'll protect the technology and of course the vaccine the vaccine does not like to be warm dr chris says she expects to keep these big vaccines open for at least the next two to three months now again this site is located at about power road and the 202 santan just north of phoenix mesa gateway airport appointments for this site are booked through the state's website we have information on how to register and book your appointment at 12news.com and in the 12 News app. We're in Mesa, Colleen Sakura, 12 News. Colleen, thank you. As millions across the country continue to be vaccinated against COVID-19, some people are buying fake vaccine cards online. The Department of Health and Human Services and the FBI are investigating this growing trend. There's currently no federal system to authenticate the CDC's vaccination cards, which makes it easy for scammers to make them. Experts say a digital verification or a QR code might roll out eventually. To report suspicious activity involving fake vaccination record cards, call 1-800-HHS-TIPS.